My name's Terry Fulmer, and I'm the president of the John A. Hartford Foundation here in New York City. Our foundation is a national philanthropy dedicated to improving care for older adults. The greatest success story of the 20th century is longevity. We have changed the life trajectory from an average age of 40 in 1900 to almost 80 today. That's profound and remarkable. The improvements that we've seen in public health, as well as antibiotics, pacemakers, renal dialysis, has all made this change in such a very short period of time. So now the great opportunity and responsibility in front of us is to take care of those people who are living longer lives. I began my nursing career at the Beth Israel Hospital in Boston, and I worked on a general medical unit. And it was clear to me that the very frail older people with multiple conditions were very complex and that there was so much that I could offer to them. It was a wonderful aha moment for me. My program of research is elder abuse and neglect and the role that nurses can play in the assessment and detection of elder abuse and neglect, which we now think of as elder mistreatment generally. As a staff nurse, what I could see in the patients I was caring for was that there were signs and symptoms that could not be explained by aging or disease. That was a really important clinical observation for me. I was able to formulate a response and also then form an elder abuse and neglect assessment team that was interdisciplinary. And we learned a great deal about how to approach the care for these individuals and how to work with local and state government to ensure that Adult Protective Services and the State Offices for Aging were working in partnership with us. When I think about the highlights in my career, certainly Boston College and the wonderful Connell School is one of the defining moments for me. It was the moment I knew that I was gonna be an academic and that was a surprise to me because I thought I would always be in clinical leadership. But when I found that you could walk into a classroom and have an impact on dozens of students and that you could teach those individuals to really move their career forward. I was completely engaged and knew that that was the work for me. And I was the first nurse to be the president of the Gerontological Society of America. And I was very proud of that. I was also the first nurse to sit on the board of the American Geriatric Society. That was also something that meant a great deal to me because it honors our profession and it is a stepping up leading and being willing to take on the additional work and responsibility that comes with leadership. When you consider that 85% of care given around the world is delivered by nurses, what I would remind us all is that our impact is profound and that we should use our voice in policy, get to the legislature, write op-eds to the New York Times, make sure you're being interviewed on a regular basis so that you exemplify all of the ways that nursing is at the table and all the ways that we can improve care and influence the well-being of our nation.